<laughs> Hi guys, it's Lara from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And um, I wanted to show you guys the blanket that I am making for Boggy Creek. Um, this is a, um, a challenge, not a challenge. Um, well, maybe it's a challenge for me because I don't, I can't crochet blankets very quickly. Um, but I'm hoping with this type of blanket that I can possibly get one done pretty quick. Um, so, uh, Boggy Creek is a camp that sick children, um, who wouldn't normally be able to go to a summer camp, um, can go to. And um, they have doctors and nurses available for them in case, you know, something happens. Um, so um, we are getting together and making as many blankets as we can. Um, I initially, um, because one is hard for me to do in a short period of time, I am making trying to get three done um, by the end of November. Uh, so I'm hoping that I can, but I am currently working on my first blanket. Um, it is called, oh, I had it up, um, but wait a second. I'm gonna have it right here in just a second. No, that's not what I wanted. I want, this one. It is called the Daphne Blanket, and it is by um, TL Yarncrafts. So that's Tony Lipsy. Um, and uh, I found this, and I was like, this is kind of cool. It looked kind of easy to do, and, and I thought that it would go pretty quick. So um, I found some yarn that I had, and... Um, the first yarn that I'm using is a Red Heart Super Saver. And this color is Bon Bon Print. So I, there's some pretty pinks and purples and blues. So I am using this one. That's how much I've used so far. And um, the pink, the other color I am using, well... It came out in a, in a big, huge yarn barf. So I'm trying, let me gather the yarn barf. Um, it was a mystery bag from Yarnspirations. So I'm thinking it's like a Karen one pound, um, something like that. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is number eight. Um, so I have lots of this color to work with. Um, I just wanted um, different colors to go with it. And I think I can match this up with one other color. Maybe I might have to go with a different color pink that I have over there for that other one. But um, I'm hoping that I can get, you know, at least two Afghans with these two colors and possibly that other one because I don't have... I only have three of these, so I'm hoping I can get two. Prop, maybe not, but I'm gonna try. Um, so let me show you what I have so far. I do. I'm using uh, a J, a six point zero uh, millimeter hook, and this is what I have. So far, I just started working um, on these today. I try to do two rows every day. Um, so this is what I have so far. I started with the Red Heart Super Saver. I did two rows and then two rows of the Caron, two of the Red Heart, and then two of the Caron. Um, so that's where I am. I just finished making this um, these two rows. And so I have those two rows to finish on these three. So we're going to make, I'm going to make four triangles. And when they reach a certain size, um, I'm thinking 25 
inches from here to here. I'm going to sew them together. They're going to go like this. And then, of course, the other one's going to go down there. And depending upon what color is on the outside, I'm going to join it with the opposite color. So if I did this right now, I would join it with the solid pink. Um, so that kind of gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. I can't hold up the other one. And plus, it's a different color now. Um, so, yep. Yeah. Um, today, I will be doing um, doing the pinks. So I try to add two rows to each one every day. Um, some days I won't be able to because I'm really busy on those days. Um, but otherwise, I should be able to. Um, so um, if you would like to help and um, donate a blanket or two or 12 um, or three, I'm, I'm pledging three because I'm very slow. Um, you can um, make a blanket. <laughs> I encourage you to make a blanket. Um, we will be sending them to Nancy from She's Got Yarn 2. Um, we are hoping that we get a truckload that she has to drive a truck down there to deliver all of the blankets. Um, so if you are able to help... Um, I don't have the specifications. I'm going to guess that they're supposed to be like 40 by 50, um, 35 to 40 by 50, somewhere in that area. Um, mine is going to be a little bit bigger because mine's going to be a square. So I'm thinking that mine's going to be around 50 by 50, and I'm hoping that this that's okay for this one. I can't imagine that they would turn... Um, away a blanket because it doesn't measure exact size. Um, so um, this is what I'm doing. Um, I encourage you. I mean, there's tons and tons of patterns out there. Um, let's fill a truckload for these kids. Um, so if you can help um, get some blankets to Nancy. So um, I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.